So check this out, it's Trevor James. I just finished my first ever day at culinary school in Sichuan. It was an overwhelming, crazy experience. I got just thrown right into the fire. I missed the first month of classes because I was switching a visa. So I just went right into class today and we learned how to make Tian Jiao Rosu, which is a bell peppers with pork slivers and me coming in there with basically zero Chinese cooking skills. It was a crazy experience and I was lucky enough to get some behind the scenes footage for you. So this is just a casual video of my first day at Sichuan School, Sichuan Culinary School, and I'll be here for the next two years and I want you to come along with me on this journey. So let's take a look. I just dropped out of my master's in international trade to come here. This is what I really wanna do and I'll be sharing my journey of becoming a Sichuan cook with you. After living in Asia for almost three years and being completely spoiled by the abundance of delicious and cheap street food in China, Malaysia, Thailand, Turkey, and India, I've had no incentive to cook. It's so easy and fun to just hit the street and eat new food all the time. So I honestly think in like three years, I've cooked less than 10 meals for myself. As I explored the Shanghai street food scene last month, it dawned on me that I was about to enter my third semester at the economic school that I was studying for no reason. What I really wanted to do is continue to create content and resources for you. I was merely studying there because I thought it would be a good backup plan if food range and failed, but now I feel confident it won't. I realized that I'm really good at eating, decent at producing videos and planning them out. I'm all right at describing flavors, but I can't back it up with culinary skills. And over the last two years, I've been really bothered by this until I recently watched the classic Julie and Julia, and I learned that even Julia Child herself couldn't cook an egg when she entered the Cordon Bleu in France. So here we go. I'm going full in. I'm 100% committed to this and will not fail. I'm gonna learn to cook Sichuan cuisine, and it's all starting here. This is the beginning of my new journey, and I want you to follow along with me. Here's some funny behind the scenes, me being completely clueless footage. That's mine. That's the professor's. And as you can see, the locals find my accent hilarious and keep repeating what I say. I was lucky to find this class that starts from the very basics, and we're starting by practicing chopping dough. It's all taught in Chinese Sichuan dialect, so Ting Ting is also sitting in to help translate some of the stuff that I don't understand. I also made friends with a senior student who helped me out that day. Uh, Andrew, oh, Andrew, 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 Andrew Jiang. 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 Okay. This is great. Faster. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> and later we went into the kitchen and I attempted to cook my first ever Tian Jiao Rosa in the professional kitchen. <laughs> Oh, there it's mixing up. Oh, 
Chinese Tianjiao Rose. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's a little, it's a little too oily and too salty, but otherwise it's okay. So I really want you to keep following my food journeys here. I'm going to be learning at the Culinary Institute for the next two years. This is going to be a blast. I'm really hoping I can make beautiful dishes like this Yuxiang Rose after I graduate. And as you can see, I'm just stumbling around. I have no clue what I'm doing, but that is what learning is about. So leave me a comment down below and follow my Instagram at The Food Ranger. I'm going to be hosting couch surfers. Actually, Ida is here right now. I've been hosting her for a few nights. We've been having a good time having this, uh, this good local food. And if you want to stay here, Go to my couch surfing profile and make a request before December 15th because I'm accepting guests until then. Okay? Thanks, guys. Leave a comment down below. Bye-bye. <laughs>